Accelerating the underwriting process is key to meeting customer needs and reducing the internal costs of the underwriting process. I'm John Weber for Best Review Magazine, and I'm speaking today to Jeremy Lane, head of U.S. Mortality Services at Swiss Re. Jeremy, so glad you could join us today. Jeremy, you're a head of the mortality services in the U.S. for Swiss Re. Can you tell us a little bit about what your role is there? Yeah, happy to. So the mortality services team, our responsibility includes claims, medical underwriting, reinsurance pricing, and our actuarial assumption development and experience studies. So additionally, as a part of my role, I sit on the the U.S. leadership team for Swiss Re. And uh, as you can imagine, with with everything that's gone on with the pandemic across the responsibilities of our team and across the U.S. business, uh, quite a bit to study on the mortality front. And that's really been our focus for the last several years. Hmm. Now, why has accelerated underwriting become an essential topic for life insurers to have a proactive strategy around? Yeah, with accelerated underwriting, I I would take a step back and really say the genesis and the driver is more around creating a better consumer experience. So life insurance buying, as we all know, is not the easiest process in the world, and accelerated underwriting has been a way for us to try and improve that aspect. In addition, I would say the, the pandemic has played a significant role in helping to push accelerated underwriting forward really through necessity. As we got into the pandemic, the availability of a lot of the tests that we've had in the past started to diminish and moving to some of the accelerated approaches that were put in place became a way to continue to manage the the business that was coming to market. What's a major challenge that life insurers should pay attention to when it comes to AUW and mortality experience? Yeah, accelerated underwriting brings a few unique aspects. And, you know, one of the first I'll highlight is really understanding the distribution channel that you're trying to put your accelerated process into. When we look across the experience that we've had with accelerated underwriting programs, we see that as a a significant driver in kind of the utilization of the programs and ultimately how effective they are. Another item I would point to is looking at the evolution of the new tools and the comprehensiveness of the information that's included. With things like digital health data, medical billing records, we've seen a steady increase in the hit rates on these and how much information is included. That's something that I think will continue to increase over time. And we can kind of look at the track record of things like prescription profiles as as how we expect this to unfold going forward. The, The last item I would really point to is getting a better handle on smoker identification. So this is one of the areas where when we look back historically, using fluids, we've been able to have a reasonably high uh, ability to identify smokers and appropriately rate those. In an accelerated process, that gets a little bit trickier, and it's an area where I think there's still opportunity for growth. Jeremy, how can life insurers collaborate with reinsurance partners like Swiss Re to further position underwriters for success? Yeah, a few areas that I would highlight, John. So first and foremost, in our position, aggregating data across the industry, it gives us great insights into sort of the protective protective value we expect to emerge out of different programs. Whether it's evaluating the, the wide scope of the risks that we see come onto the books or partnering with some of the vendors that are creating new tools, those insights are things that we share with our clients in order to help them be more successful and be more accurate as they launch these programs. Another area that I would note with with accelerated underwriting is the need for ongoing monitoring. Whatever the best laid plans are for carriers when they put accelerated underwriting in place, there's inevitably surprises that come up. And we've worked with a number of our clients to be an extra set of eyes to help establish a program to monitor performance and then try and figure out how we make adjustments when things uh, start to deviate from what's expected. What tools or solutions does Swiss Re offer to help insurers be more efficient? Yeah, this has been a big area of focus for us. And, you know, I would break this down into three buckets. First, I would look on the underwriting side of things. When it comes to underwriting, Magnum is a tool that we've had in the market for 30 plus years uh, around the world. And it's a way for our clients to automate uh, the underwriting journey for some of the, the business that they write. A newer tool that we have on the underwriting space is Underwriting Ease, and this is a tool to help clients effectively ingest a lot of the digital data that that can feed into the underwriting process. 
Shifting to the claims side, this is a newer area of focus for us as well. And we've done some work to create an automated uh, front end for a claims process for consumers to quickly and efficiently put their data forward for the, to start the claims process. Additionally, we have a tool that's focused on uh, helping our clients automate some of those simpler and easier claims processes to be able to get the consumer paid more quickly. Last but not least, uh, one of the areas where we're most excited is enhancing the ability to perform analytics on the Enforce business. So we've created a tool called Impact Plus, and this tool just allows better understanding of all aspects of the, the data that sits around the business that you've written. Uh, this can be used for things from premium validation to identifying trends early in the process. It, it just improves the efficiency that we understand the risk that's on our books. That was Jeremy Lane, head of U.S. Mortality Services at Swiss Re. And I'm John Weber for Best Review Magazine.